Hello, my name is Sander and welcome back to another video about the Inventory Master Asset. Today we're gonna create a random loot system um, yeah, that um, just let um, items randomly spawn on the terrain. And yeah, that's pretty easy to be honest. Um, uh, the first thing which I have to say, um, I forgot in the old um, yeah, scripting tutorial that you have to set the HP mana canvas or the background and the HP mana um, rec transform and the anchor from it you have to set this uh, to the top right otherwise when you uh, let me just show you what happens when you do not do this when you do that like this here you see it's not on the top right side so it's the why uh, that's why we, you have to set the anchor on the top right side press alt for it and just click on it and it will be always on the top right side and now you see maybe it's um, you know there you just have to drag and drop this now um, or you you can change the number on the top right side in the rec transform as well if you want and oops uh, just let me do this like this and when I drag this now it's fixed okay uh, let us start with the random loot system I gonna create a random loot system random loot system script and in the script um what I'm scripting here uh, could be not the best way but uh, so it's pretty uh, yeah, it's working pretty easily so um, we need the start function um okay the first thing which we need is we need ha uh, we need to have a, a variable um which says us how much um, random items we uh, we spawn on the terrain. So um, we need a public um, int variable um, amount of loot. I'm gonna call this, and the first thing I I, I just call this s10. So uh, firstly, uh, the other thing which we need is we need the item database because we need to load the um, all the items from our uh, from our item database. And this is pretty easily um, the item database um, yeah, is static, so you only have to call this once, and you um, yeah, you get this list from it. Um, so you do do not need to create an instance of it. Um, we do this like this, or we also could just no, we do this like this. Um, okay, the first thing which we have to do, we have to get the uh, we have to load the the item database. Oops, inventory item list <coughs> is equals to the item database resource dot load and now in this example we load our item database and when we got this um, we create a while loop and uh, we do this uh, until our um, until um, yeah, our amount of loot is 10, so we need another variable. I call this like this. Uh, now let me call uh, uh, call this counter, so it's maybe better for you. So um, counter must be smaller than the the amount of loot. Um, until this, we use uh, we we do this what we do in now here. So <coughs> the first thing which we have to do is we have to set this once uh, one one amount up and yeah now we're gonna create um, the index or we create a random number from or we need to take um, an item out of the data database and we do this with a number which we get randomly and this is possible with um, this function random random dot number no, random dot range sorry and we start with one not with zero zero is a placeholder don't use um, this one otherwise you will get problems and um, yeah we need a random number between one and the length of the item database list so um, item list dot count minus one oh is it right minus one yeah okay um, when we got this, um, yeah, we got our number now. Uh, the other thing which we need is the terrain. Um, I just call this terrain and the active terrain from it. When you got one terrain, it's just taking it. So the other thing which we need 
to do is we need to spawn them randomly on the map and this is possible with um, also the same function random dot range and now we need a range um, or the size of the terrain this is why we have taken the active terrain so uh, I'm gonna start with um, the exposition um, or a random number between um, 5 and yeah, the maximum of the terrain position minus 5 otherwise um, the items fall off from the terrain and that's why I call it 5 or that's why I want to have a minimum of 5 and a maximum um, yeah, of the terrain size minus 5 um, terrain, oops. terrain dot terrain data dot sides dot x minus 5 and then we get our um, X position for the item, then we need a Z position for it. Uh, the Y position is um, the height, and actually it's uh, it's every time zero, and it will spawn uh, on the um, on the terrain. So we do the same with uh, with that now, or with Z. I don't know from where you are, maybe English or American. Uh, Set minus 5 again and now we got our position for it. So the other thing which we have to do is now we have to create the game object of it. Um, I'm gonna call this random loot item and we have to instantiate this and <coughs> we do this with the with the number which we got um, here on the on the top. So um, oops inventory item list dot dot item list from random number dot item model so don't forget to attach uh, to every item an item model you also could call it um, you also could maybe ask here before you instantiate a game object if this item model is null if it is we gonna just take one point away from the counter and it's doing it again um, so I'm gonna do this like this if this null we call it counter minus minus and if it's not null we do uh, oops, we do this here maybe it's a safer way for you um, okay when we created this uh, we also um, need to attach uh, the script pickup item and uh, yeah, oops, random, random loot item, and we have to attach this script to uh, the item or to the game object, and we do this with this here. And the other thing which we have to do, uh, this pickup item needs um, a class item, and yeah, we just need to to call it item dot item is equals to the inventory item list. Um, dot item list from random number and then it's uh, the same uh, or the, the item is in this uh, script and the next thing which we have to do we have to set the local position of the game object now um, we do this with this here random loot dot transform dot local position and new vector x zero oops z Okay, now when we got this, we can just try this. Uh, we are gonna attach this to the terrain. Um, random loot system. And when I start this now, it should work. You see, um, there is a capsule and actually maybe here on the top as well. So you see also uh, there the hills. So actually we, we said in the script um, that that the uh, y position uh, or the y x is zero. It's always zero. Um, it's not necessary to know if there's a hill or we do not need any height of the of the terrain. It's always zero. Um, yeah, we can pick up this up. Uh, I'm gonna open this and pick it up and pick the next thing up. And yeah, you just have to run around and you will find the items. Um, here's the next one. Yeah, this is how it's how it works. 
uh, the random root system. I hope um, it's that what you like. Um, the next tutorial will be about um, a random loot system as well. It's just about creating a, a random loot system with chests or bo storage boxes, how you want to call it. Um, and we're gonna attach randomly items to it with a priority. So maybe um, you d you don't want to, to add or you only want to have an item in it uh, with a chance of 90% and maybe you got a pretty uh, rare um, item you only want to have this um, in in a chest with a chance of I don't know maybe 5% so this is what we're gonna do in the next tutorial and yes yeah, you to it bye bye